And so the difference between faith and hope is, hope is an assured promise. Anything that God says in His Word, any promise, now here's your key, the promise that He's given us, it is guaranteed, it will always work. However, what we have to realize is there are some people who don't know the hope that is ours for the taking. Um, specifically, I uh, think about this years ago before our ministry, Hope for the Heart, uh, began. I was teaching a, a Bible study in my home and uh, there was a medical professional, a part of our ministry. There were a lot of people came to my home Bible study. And uh, all of a sudden, she started spiraling downward because she began to have flashbacks of incest. And while she had been growing and growing, all of a sudden, she was overwhelmed. She said, I can't, I can't handle this. I, I said, I called her by name, and I said, you can handle this. You can claim, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. It's His strength. Everything I would say, though, she would nod her head, and she said, well, but it won't work for me. It'll work for you, but not for me. And I said, I said, no, that's not true. She said, no, you're better than me. I said, I am no better than you. No, no, that has nothing to do with it. Because these, and I would give her the promises that God has given us to be able to go through any storm. And uh, she ultimately attempted suicide. I remember going to the hospital where she worked or had been working, and now she's in the psych unit. Well, she goes, ultimately uh, to the state hospital because after a few months her insurance runs out and all of a sudden I get this call June you have got to get me out of here you, I, I'm not like these people I said well, what's happened what, what and she said you've got to get me out of here I'm not a zombie these people here are zombies I think they were over medicated or whatever but that but she was saying what she was not and so I, I said, but I can't do anything. She said, June, yes, you, this is what you do. You drive up. They can't keep me against my will. I will walk out with you. She said, you know, I've been thinking, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. <laughs> and now she's beginning to pare it back, to repeat back the promises of God because she, she now she's desperate enough. Okay, I'm going to hold on to what has God said. And, you know, in three days, they, well, well, I, 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 I did go get her. Uh, she was released. It was amazing what ultimately happened in terms of her realizing. I talked with her just the other day uh, because I feature her in this first chapter of the book, yes, and I do. tell. Yes. And, and, but the point is, she needed to have the hope in the promises of God. Now, when you put your faith in hope, that's action. Hope is a, a guaranteed promise. Faith is acting on that promise. That's so, what she had not done then. So people watching today who are saying, <coughs> okay, I can relate to the lady you're talking about because mm -hmm. my life is out of control or I'm having trouble dealing with the past or memories. Um, but hope to me, like Ron said, and like you said, it, it seems like a cloud I'm trying to yeah. grab onto. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Where do I start mm -hmm. to find hope, hope as, instead of a cloud, as an anchor? Like you mm -hmm. say in your book, mm -hmm. hope mm -hmm. is an anchor, something mm -hmm. tangible mm -hmm. I can hang on to. What's the starting point? Mm -hmm. I would first say, okay, since our hope is to be in Christ first, the beginning for me was I, at one point, humbled my heart and said, okay, I don't understand this. I can't, I can't change my situation. I couldn't change my father. I couldn't change my background. But God will change us inside out. So it begins by, I, I pray to prayer, God, I realize I've cho chosen wrong. I've, I've sinned. I ask you to forgive me for my sin. I'm asking Jesus to come into my life uh, to be my Lord and Savior. And you can do with me whatever you want. And is so simple and yet and I didn't even know I began to change people a year later said you've changed so much I didn't even understand mm -hmm. I was supposed to change I didn't know that he mm -hmm. he would change me I didn't change me he changed right. me and I began to 
eventually become more and more secure. So the key though was I began to read the Bible and there were promises in the Bible. And as long as we stick with what the Bible promises, not what other people say, for example, there are some who say, well, you, everybody is supposed to be healed from everything. Well, that's not a promise. Paul prayed three times. I'm talking about the Apostle Paul, the greatest missionary in the world, prayed three times that the thorn in his flesh would be removed. And he indicated, no, God did not offer that. So, so we have to be careful. What is it that we're assuming that we have guaranteed hope for? The Bible says the body's wasting away. So our, 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 you know, what's so wonderful is we can have absolute assurance that He will hold us secure. He says, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. All right, mm -hmm. that's a promise. Mm -hmm. you, if you think you're alone, you're not alone. Mm -hmm. if you, once you've entered into that relationship with Him, you are never alone. And therefore, He will hold you secure. Now, the way I see this is at times, we are in a storm. Jesus rarely in his ministry calmed the storm, but he has the power to do that. That's a miracle. If he calms the storm, wonderful, but at times that storm will still rage and yet he will calm his child in the midst of the storm. So yes. that's where our hope is, giving ourselves to him, letting him be our security. That's such a vital first step. And I, I even think there, there are people who, who prayed along with you kind of under their breath as you were praying that and saying, yes, I, I need that. I'm giving my life to the Lord right now. And, and we'd encourage you to, to give us a call on our prayer line as well, 1-866-273-4444. And we can, we can talk to you further about that decision. Mm -hmm. But your, your book, <clears throat> Hope for the Heart, Finding Strength in Life's Storms. It's, it's use a lot of nautical terms and, and analogies like, like the anchor, mm -hmm. like the storm. Mm -hmm. And uh, we just got a, about a minute left or so, but you, you faced a storm in your life um, with breast cancer oh. and, and God brought you through that. Mm -hmm. Maybe just mm -hmm. give us a, a quick summary of what God did. You know, I didn't know how I would respond if I heard the C word. Mm. Uh, I was surprised I never had fear. As soon as I heard, you do have cancer, you will have a mastectomy, you will lose your hair. I thought, what does the hair have to do with this? But the fact is, I thought, God already knows my last day. All the days ordained for me were written in His book before one of them came to be. That's what the Bible says. So He already knows either my time is less or my time is more. And I ended up uh, thinking about a scripture I'd never thought of before, Philippians 1.20, that Christ would be exalted or, or shown, uh, displayed in my body, whether by life or by death. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, and so I thought, okay, if my life is shorter, Lord, may I live to the maximum being the person you created me to be. And you know, it took all that fear that I could have had away. And, yeah. and, and I, I call it my fascinating journey. I learned volumes wow. along the way. And that all was birthed out of the hope that you found because of the relationship you already had yes. with Jesus. That was the key. That was the key. All right. I'm glad you're still around. And, oh, and, thank and you. And thank God you. God has you uh, so um, ministering to so many around yes. the world. I think some 60 countries and yes. about 24 different languages your materials yes. in. and. Mm -hmm. And God bless you as you continue on Thank you, in that Thank calling you of giving people you. hope. Thank it's, you. It, it's so powerful. The book, Hope for the Heart, Finding mm -hmm. Strength mm -hmm. in Life's Storms. We encourage you to, to get a copy of that. Uh, you probably get it at most Christian bookstores or mm -hmm. Amazon.com and yes. so on. June, right. thank you so much. Thank you.